This video shows you how you can disable your touchpad in Windows 11. This also applies to Windows 10. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So why would you want to disable your touchpad? Well, quite simply, if you're using a mouse, then as an external device, then you might find that it becomes annoying to have the touchpad working as well, as when you're typing, you could well start knocking the touchpad and moving the mouse. So this guide is gonna show you how you can disable the touchpad in different ways in Windows 11. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to have a look on our keyboard. Now look in particular at the top row of keys on the keyboard, these are the F keys, and have a look to see if you've got a button that looks either like this or like this. These are usually around about the F5, F6 and F7 keys. Now, if you do have a button that looks like this, it's got a picture of the touchpad on it, either with a cross through it or a circle with a cross through it, then that is quite possibly the touchpad on off switch. Now, on some laptops, you can just push that button. But on other laptops, if your laptop has got an FN key, and the FN key is usually on the bottom row of keys on the keyboard, this is known as the function key, you may well need to hold this down whilst tapping that key and then let go of the FN key once you've tapped the key that uh, disables the uh, touchpad. Now, how do you turn it back on again? Well, all you do is you just push that button again. Whatever button you push to turn it off, you turn on. And also, if you had to push and hold the FN key, do that as well. So hold down the FN key and tap the button with the touchpad symbol on it and it turns it off. So it's a bit of a toggle key, so it turns it on and off. But what if you haven't got that button? Well, what you need to do is you need to go to the start button on the desktop. So click on that, get your start menu up, and like I say, this should work in Windows 10 as well. Type in touchpad. And once you see touchpad settings, system settings appear under best match, just move your mouse over it and left click once on it. So you may well get a screen similar to this, and it basically says touchpad on, and you can literally click that to turn the touchpad off. Now do make sure that you've got a mouse obviously connected when you turn that off because you wanna be able to turn it back on again at a later date. You've also got an option here with a tick beside it saying, leave touchpad on when a mouse is connected. Now, if you take the tick out of that box, this basically means that when you plug a USB mouse into the side of your computer, doesn't matter whether it's wired or wireless, when you plug that in, it will automatically turn the touchpad off. So you leave touchpad on, and untick leave touchpad on when a mouse is connected. And I'll say, as soon as you plug a mouse in, then the touchpad will be automatically disabled. But if you want to manually turn it off, then you can switch the touchpad on to off. But obviously do bear in mind, you do need a mouse to turn it back on again. So make sure that you've got a USB mouse handy to plug in at any time if you needed to turn it back on again. Now, what if you haven't got this option? So if you haven't got this option, then look for something that says either additional settings or more touchpad settings. So once you've found that, click on either additional settings or more touchpad settings, and then you should get a box similar to this come up, like an old style Windows box. And what you're looking for is go through each of these tabs at the top of the screen here and look to see whether you can find that option to disable the mouse when a USB device is connected. It is usually the very last tab on the list there, like mine here. As you can see, there's a little tick box, tick box there which says, disable when external USB pointing device plug in. So that means whenever you've got a mouse plugged in, an external mouse plugged in, whether it be wired or wireless, and that box is ticked, let's just tick it, I've got a mouse plugged in, 
my touchpad is now not working, but my wired or wireless mouse is still working. So let's just take the tick out of that box again. There you go, mouse pointer is working from the touchpad and the external mouse as well. Now, if that doesn't work, you have got the option to click, certainly on mine, stop device. And when I click that, it says disable device. Click on yes, and there you go. The touchpad is not working, but my external mouse is. So I'm just gonna re-enable it just by clicking on enable device there and the touchpad is working once again. Now, what if you've not got any of these options? Well, you might find by tapping the top left or right hand corners of the touchpad may turn the mouse on and off. That's by double tapping quickly, top left or top right. If that doesn't work, try referring to your manufacturer's manual. You might well find this on the website of the manufacturer. Have a look in the support section and see if you can find a manual. And that should hopefully tell you a way of disabling your touchpad. Unfortunately, if you haven't got any of those options and you, you can't find a way in the manual, then it may just be that unfortunately, you're not able to disable your touchpad. I mean, there used to be a way, but it's not actually available. You used to be able to go into Device Manager just by clicking on the Start button just down there and then go type in Device Manager and after a while, Device Manager will appear. Click on that and what you're looking for is mice and other pointing devices just there click on the little arrow there and there you go there's my elan input device which is basically my touchpad if i right click on it there's often there is a disable device that comes up there but unfortunately not on some of the newer computers so unfortunately that way for most people will be out but i'll just show you what i mean by that i'm just going to click on the normal mouse that i've got the external mouse i've got plugged in as you can see there there's a disabled device and if i click on that it says disabling this device will cause it to stop functioning do you really want to disable it well i'm just going to say yes for the moment okay so now my external mouse has stopped working but if that was the internal mouse then that would be the internal mouse or the touchpad that had stopped working so i'm just going to re-enable that but like i say for a lot of the touchpads the internal mouse there is not an option there to disable there is an option to uninstall but if you uninstall it then you probably will find that it will just reinstall itself certainly within a few minutes or certainly after a reboot or worse still, you might not be able to get your touchpad working again if you uninstall it. So probably not a good idea to do that. But anyway, hopefully one of these options work for you. Like I say, if you cannot find a way of doing this in the, in, in the manual, then it may be that there is no option. If you want, if you found a different way of disabling the touchpad when you've got a mouse connected, please comment down below. We'd love to hear because I know there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of different laptop configurations out there and not everyone is the same. So it would be good to hear if you found another way to disable your touchpad. I hope you like this video and if you did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.